audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now Scorpio, I also do your weekly you versus them reading if you'd like to check that out. I'll put a link over here for you to check it out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Scorpio, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all, see the comments, right? I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards and if you do enjoy this reading be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot Scorpio and I always am super appreciative that you guys take the time to do that for me and then finally Scorpio this reading's just here to give you perspective right I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live not mine so uh with all that being said scorpio let's start getting into this reading i just also want to say this the intent of my readings i guess is more so just to give you some food for thought something to think about as you go throughout your week a really a perspective to consider so let's get into this now and uh, for starting it out with your overall energy we'll get into this honey uh we have the eight of swords and the eight or knight of wands with this so Scorpio, what I'm really getting with this as like your, this being your overall energy, this lets me know Scorpio, you have ideas, you have passions, but you don't do it. You don't do it. Why? Because of this eight of swords. Now, Scorpio, this knight of wands here, this is who you are. This is the energy that you want to exude and kind of like what you're trying to actively grasp at if you're not already in this energy. But what's kind of struggling, your struggle with this or what would be blocking you from going forward? Because maybe, Scorpio, this is like that energy where it's just like you'll feel super motivated at like two o'clock in the morning, right, with this. And then you wake up and you're just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. It's like a completely different vibe, right? It's like, where did that passion and emotion go in that motivation go overnight with your sleep, right? Six of Wands just came flying out. So, yeah, there just seems to be like you do want victory, Scorpio. For some of you, the, the Six of Wands is that card of public recognition, that spotlight. So maybe you're hoping to get... um which I kind of want to suspect you're hoping to have either like the spotlight shined on you, maybe more attention brought to your business, or maybe even having someone notice you. Um, but the issue is this eight of swords. This issue is what's stopping you, which you may or may not be aware of already. This eight of swords is kind of like this, in, uh, an individual that is just, you don't truly what you see, what you, um, what you actually are, right? In this imagery, it kind of depicts, I mean, I don't know if it's accurate, I'm gonna be honest, Scorpio. Um, how, I'm trans how I translate the Eight of Swords in this deck is that I see this individual um, standing in front of a mirror. She sees, um, she's not seeing what she actually looks like. She um, isn't seeing the beauty in her, the potential in her, right? She just sees everything that she doesn't like in this person. She sees the, you know, she's blind to herself, right? She doesn't refuses to see her true self because if she were, then she wouldn't have those excuses anymore. Or maybe she doesn't want to truly pay attention um, to herself. Maybe for some of you Scorpios, you haven't actually taken like a long look in the mirror for a while and had some sense of self-awareness with you, right? Maybe some of you guys need, probably need to have like a conversation with yourself, some deep reflection with yourself, with that Queen of Swords of what's stopping you, because maybe what's stopping you is yourself, right? And that is something to consider and maybe a uh, tough pill to swallow, Scorpio right with this uh with that type of energy it's you know so if you associate this with the knight of wands it's kind of like that energy of maybe it's just like oh you don't want to acknowledge like your own potential it'd be like one of those things where it's just like oh i don't want to make a business out of doing whatever your passion is because it's like everyone can do it anyone can do it. it's easy to do right no one would be interested it's those type of excuses that are super limiting that you really want to um avoid scorpio so something to consider but with all that said with your general energy of things scorpio let's start getting into your uh, actual reading i'm going to start tapping into the career side of things first scorpio and then we'll get into the social interactions for you and then we'll get into just overall general messages to close off the reading but to start out this reading for your career situation scorpio for those interested in career we have the world card coming in 
the world card is definitely um, kind of funny how you're having this pattern with all your cards where it's just like the individual isn't seen. So perhaps something I want to say, Scorpio, is maybe you're missing an opportunity. It's just a random side message just because not more so to do with the world card, but more so just because of I'm noticing a theme in terms of the artwork coming in for you. But we'll see with these clarifiers. But the world card generally just represents like a change in perspective through like a natural occurring of events. So let's think of an example for this. That'd be most fitting, Scorpio. So let's say for your career, like you really wanted to um, put out a business of some sort. You wanted to open up an Etsy store, but you perhaps just feel like you're not, you know, going back to that, you just didn't want to put it up an Etsy store because you just lack the motivation because like the view of yourself kind of limits you. So when you have this world card coming in, it almost feels like maybe for some of you guys, you're constantly blaming like your environment perhaps for why it is you haven't gotten further in your career. Or maybe it is like because of your environment that makes it hard to do, right? I don't want to be presumptuous, but let's get into these clarifiers, right? So we can get to have a better understanding of why this world card is here in the first place. So the back of the deck energy is the four of wands. So this is like, I see this card as, um, I know this is like a card for a lot of pe readers. They see this as like the higher commitment. I see this as where it's already settled in. Like you and your person are already set in or you and your career, like the potential is already set in. The 1111 here, it's known as the four of wands is known as the 1111 card Scorpio because of the, these two, these four of wands and how they're positioned because it's like, it looks kind of like a portal and it looks like a lot, like 1111. And so the portal being that tense, you just have to kind of walk through. You have to make the decision to just walk through and it kind of follows you into your clarifiers. So six of wands is following you Scorpio. So this is definitely confirming to me that you are wanting to be noticed. You are wanting to have some traction in terms of your business. I really do, dare I say, feel like you have like a really good idea, but you don't know maybe if it's worth the investment or you're afraid of putting too much into it with the Six of Pentacles because it's just like, you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to uh, put your energy, put your time, money into something that isn't going to give you that payout naturally, right? But there's still something in you that with this ace of wands of wanting to go forward there is still this sense of calling for you scorpio where you want to pursue this passion even because of it so it is almost like for scorpio for a lot of you in career at least the energy that i'm tapping into is like this indecisiveness this unsureness that's really just being gatekeeped by your insecurity or yeah, because that's what I feel, because it's just like, that's the only thing that would make sense, right? Because you're super motivated, you're wanting to do this, a lot of wands, a lot of wands cards, a lot of wanting to go forward, Scorpio. But then it's like that Eight of Swords card that we had as your overall energy that's stopping you. But it's just like, so yeah, it just more so lets me know, Scorpio, of like, what's going on? What What reasonings do you have in your environment that you choose to not just walk forward in terms of that 1111 in terms of that uh portal i already shuffled the cards for the back of the deck so i can't <laughs> show you that card anymore but it's just like ask yourself scorpio what is stopping you from claiming that public recognition that victory because it seems to be in the bag already do you just need to kind of agree with it or decide for yourself that it's going to work out and finally just commit to it right finally grab up at that ace of wands and just go forward uh, yeah, let's start getting into your social, uh, interactions now, Scorpio. Now, when I say social interactions, this could be with your person, uh, love interest, family, business, what have you. It's just whoever you, just your social connections, right? Um, doesn't, romantic or platonic, it doesn't really, it truly doesn't matter. So let's pull a card on that, see what's up with that. We have the Queen of Swords coming in for you, for your social connections. So Scorpio, uh, I like this because it's like boundary setting with this Queen of Swords. You're setting boundaries. Only thing I want to say, you know what? Let me not say it until we pull clarifiers. Um, I do. Well, I'll say it now, I guess, because I did think about it and I hate when people do that. Right. Uh, I do want to point out with this Queen of Swords, it's different than the King of Swords in that the King of Swords just doesn't react. The King of Swords is to themselves, like, even if they're pissed off, they're not going to say anything to you. They're not going to let it be known. They're going to just still exude, like, this calm demeanor. Queen of Swords, a little bit different because it's like, she'll set that boundary, and if it's intruded on, she reacts really strongly. 
So that is just something I want to just be like, um, be careful about that, right? I always do, the minute it has nothing to do with you, Scorpio. That's just something I always like to just, uh, give notice of, give advice on, right? So let's pull some clarifiers now to see what's up with this Queen of Swords. Okay. Back of the deck energy, the tower card. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, looking at your other clarifiers though, Scorpio, I'm liking this a little bit more. When I first just saw the tower card, I'm like, okay, honey, like you really, this, this is giving me very much so an energy of cutting people out, right? With this tower card, you're just like, you've had like enough, um, which is understandable, right? It's not me chastising you, Scorpio, because it's, you know, with Queen of Swords, it's the boundaries. So if someone's intruding on those boundaries, naturally, you don't really want them in your life. But at the same time, Scorpio, consider the fact that maybe they just don't know it yet. Maybe they're not aware of, like, those boundaries, so you have to just talk about it. Um, social connections, though, with the clarifiers, it's interesting because it does seem to be, like, a separate message. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this Queen of Swords comes in just as, like, a overall how to manage your social connections and this seems to be more of like a foreshadowing of something really good coming forward for you scorpio maybe dare i say you've recently released somebody and this i feel like more so is more pertaining to like relationships i'm going to be honest scorpio you release somebody or you set some boundaries for your next relationship because maybe you recently this definitely would be someone that recently came out of a relationship um and it's because of this, right? You let that go and this kind of starts something else. It ignites something else. The forward movement of a new person coming in with this Knight of Cups, right? A new Knight coming forward to you with being able to maneuver through those boundaries respectfully, right? Being able to come at you and appreciate and respect those boundaries because they see you as this Queen of Cups. They see you, um, once you are in this place of the Queen of Cups, you transition from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. Where it's just like you're happy with your boundaries, you're just really, you're just really content with your emotional state. Maybe you recently, Scorpio, just have had like a moment of clarity or a time of clarity when it comes to the connections in your life. Maybe you realize like a pattern that you've allowed in your life with people in your life that just weren't a service to you. Set that boundary, being happy with your life. And it's because of that energy you start exuding, someone else comes forward to you with this Knight of Cups, whether it's relationship or just even a friendship, right? Um, Page of Wands talks about that new beginning again for you uh page of wands talks about just like a forward movement as well just because of that wands cards but it just lets me know of like a new passion ignited it lets me know of like new emotions just being tapped into because of this knight of cups so definitely i like this energy but in this middle row scorpio of where it's just like set boundaries just because you set boundaries you're really happy with yourself and that's when you manifest a greater greater quality of person so now scorpio let's get into your just general energies of things get some advice and spirit your archangels ancestors whatever it is you choose to subscribe to strength card coming in here honey so definitely shadow work i feel like this is more so in relation to i mean I don't even feel like it's just still social interactions because even in your career situation, Scorpio, it's definitely like a lesson of like figuring out like what excuses you're telling yourself or like why it is you'll talk yourself down from pursuing this passion or this dream, but you're treating like those excuses as if they're factual and you can't change them. I feel like the strength card comes in in the sense of where it's just like you're seeing like where it is that you need to learn from. You're seeing where it is that like you yourself need to improve on. Um, you're just seeing the lesson in things. And I feel like it reflects off of your social interactions. You you see the um, natural occurring, occurring occurrence of things in your life once you transition from the Queen of Wands or Queen of Swords to the Queen of uh, Cups to the Queen of Water, right? You see that transition and that's where it's just like, a, oh, and I feel like everything else starts transitioning in your life because of that. So let's pull some final clarifiers for this strength card for you, Scorpio. We have Six of Swords coming in. Naturally, this makes sense just because it does seem to be you are moving on from other people through you setting boundaries, right? It may not just be like a sudden event of things, right? With that world card that we pulled earlier, um, it could just be like a natural occurring thing. So you set boundaries and then that's when, because of those boundaries and you're firm around those boundaries, there's just like a nas uh, nasty, natural distance occurring, right? Until you finally are just like, you get enough distance away from them. Five of Wands confirming to me with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I don't feel like you're, you feel like you're trying to avoid conflict, right? Ace of Pentacles is where it's just like you, you're taking matters into your own hands you don't you're not interested in engaging anymore because 
again, you're just interested after those boundaries that you set, you're just like, you know what? Like, this isn't it. Like, you're not dealing with conflict. You don't want to do, like, this is all just overwhelming conflict, anxiety, energy, and you're not wanting any of that. You're not having any part in that because you're just focused on your money. You're focused on what will fulfill you, what will give you your abundance, right? Hanged man comes in with the three of swords as well, or three of swords, three of wands as well. So truly, it's like, you start considering other options or you start really t assessing your life because of some type of change of perspective, right? The world card and the theme, overall theme, it seems to be like a, just a shift in view, a shift in perspective of all aspects of your life. And it's probably through, like, especially with the hanged man, it's probably through some type of outside action that kind of caused this to stir in you. But I do see you committing to it regardless once you, like, you're not going to budge on this energy. Once you set these boundaries, honey, you're not budging on it, which is good. So I really do want to celebrate you for that, Scorpio. Overall, I really like your energy. Queen of Wands does come in eventually for you as well, which I did misspeak of. So you got Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Beautiful cards for that. Uh, you really are in this constant phase of um, elevating yourself, Scorpio. So I really celebrate you for that. Um, overall, what I would take from this reading, you know, just keep on, um, figuring out what is stopping or slowing down your Knight of Wands energy. You have a lot of good coming to you. I see with that Knight of Cups and stuff, someone is definitely coming to you, <laughs> right? I feel like a new connection is definitely in the horizon once you make those boundaries. But, um, yeah, Scorpio, that's the reading that I have for you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading, and then share my video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, Scorpio. Bye.